and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you a simple stretch text effect. I've got a simple clip, we're going to use this as the background and now I use the type tool, click on the preview window and type in some text. You can also press T to have this type to active. Let me size it up a little bit. I guess it was too big. Yeah, I'll have to size it down. Let me size it down in timeline. And this icon is very important. So this circle, the plus sign in it, it needs to be below your text. So if you, for example, have a lowercase uh, G or AJ, something that goes below the baseline of the text, you will have to reposition this sign so that it's below this letter and then reposition the entire text once more. But I'm fine with this one. But the position below the S is already the lowest position of the entire text. Now I go to the effect controls. If you can't see that, go to window, click on effect controls. There's my text element. I open the drop down and you can adjust the source text, for example, give it a new font, a different style, whatever. I'll stick with this. And I'll go to the transform menu, which is much more important. Open the drop down if you can't see it. And we want to scale it, but only vertically. So uncheck this box, uniform scale. And now you can adjust the vertical scale without the horizontal being affected. This number is important, so 284. This is the text size in its original. So I copy that, Ctrl C. Now I go to zero, go to the starting position and start the animation by clicking on this clock icon. Then move forward a couple of frames. I'll type in the number that we've had, so 284, but I'll make it a bit bigger. Let's say 300, that should be fine here. Once again, go a little bit further in the clip. Go below it, so 275 should be fine. And then once more, I'll go a little bit further. And this time I use 284, so the original size. And this gives us this effect. So it stretches up a little bit too far and then it goes down again. So it's a little bit of a bounce effect. And this little detail adds a little bit to this illusion of a text that's being stretched. If that's too fast for you, you can simply zoom in right here and then reposition your keyframes. And that's the way you can adjust the speed of this entire stretching and the bounce. Just find something that you like. There is no real rule for what values to use or what time to use. Just play around with it, just like I did here, and pick the results that you like. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.